<laughs> Welcome back to the Bobcast. Today we got Philadelphia comedian and just a sweet man. Please welcome Thomas Patrick. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem, man. What's good? Happy, uh, what day is it? Thursday. It is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, Thursday. It's crazy. It sinks up on us. Uh -huh. I mean, since I've started filming this podcast, it's just been all one long bender, so I don't even know what day it is anymore. <laughs> since I quit my job, really, it's just one wash. How is that? Oh, I mean... It's not really anything great because, you know, I, I'm still, like, working and all that jazz. Like, working at my parents' Dairy Queen and all that. And I'm still doing this. So, it's not like I'm just sitting around. And, yeah, you're busy. Yeah, busy and also increased my bender intake. So, it's, like, tolling on my body. You know? <laughs> I, I know those days. Yeah. I feel like if you can prioritize a bender, that's the life. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just can't wait till the bender is over and my body can recover. Oh, recovery. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, you're kind of uh, taking a time off drinking, right? Yes, yes. It might be permanent. I quit drinking like a couple months ago. Uh, you feel great. I, mean, I, I don't know if I I don't know if I would say I feel great. Your body doesn't feel better, but maybe like you miss it mentally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You feel better? My body, I mean, my body, I would say there's certain days it feels better. Mm. But uh, overall, I think my schedule didn't really change so i'm just like on a hustle yeah, yeah. but uh the drinking uh i mean yeah i feel better i i should say i feel better yeah. <laughs> scientifically you have to feel better yeah i if feel you, better if you didn't then man yeah. i mean we'd be just taking the bender to the end of our lives there well that's the trick with alcoholism i guess <laughs> oh, yeah can't do too much or you'll die. Yeah. Have you ever taken an ambulance ride because of drinking too much alcohol? No, no. I always, uh, <laughs> I, I have, I have this amazing knack of being able to get home even in a blackout. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, in my youth, I was a wild child, and I can't afford those kind of activities anymore. Oh it's yeah. It's a waste of money. It is a waste of money. Yeah. It is. I mean, and I wish I could say that that played a factor mm -hmm. in it, but I just leaned into not drinking. I was like over the the winter. I yeah. I had I had pneumonia over Christmas, mm -hmm. and then oh, what a Christmas present! Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, I thought I was gonna be. I it was gonna be a sad boy winter. I just had a breakup, oh. and then had pneumonia over holidays so then i was like okay well i wouldn't have been able to do anything anyway yeah so yeah, i was yeah. like whatever it was kind of a blessing and then uh after recovering from pneumonia i got covid and that was my first time having covid mm, and were you then already vaccinated at this point or not nah? yeah okay now, yeah when you got the first vaccine did it fuck you up at all yeah 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 yeah, okay. yeah it was crazy but getting actual covid was like the worst mm. but then i wasn't drinking because i was sick so I was like drinking here and there, yeah. but not a full stop. But then after COVID, I was like, I just leaned into it and was yeah. like, I'll just quit drinking. Well, also because you're working on your health, we see you out here becoming mad chiseled. <laughs> Parting is a hindrance on becoming chiseled. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely. I, I, I definitely, I mean, I already was taking like those photos yeah. that are the thirst traps, <laughs> but now I'm like taking them just to like see progress. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And even though like, yeah, sure, I'm thirsty for them, but I just like know the amount of time you're spending in the gym and I'm also happy like seeing your results. I'm like, yeah. Ah, finally, they're coming through. Yeah. Time for summertime. Yeah, I love the gym. Yeah. 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 Got to get that summer body. Mm -hmm. Well, you used to be a swimmer, right? I do like to swim. Yeah. Uh, uh, I do enjoy swimming. It's been a while. It, it's hard here in Philly, though, because so the and when I like five years ago, I lived in D.C. and the gym I went to had like those indoor pools that had like the motor. Oh no way! And you just jump in, and it's just like a small pool, and right, you right, just right, yeah. swim against the current. Mm -hmm. That is like how I. That's how I like to swim. Yeah, I've it, never done that. Is that like? Uh, can you change how fast the current comes? You can. Ooh. Yeah, you can. It's like can. the fastest you can go, like a fucking fast river, dude. <laughs> it's it, it gets intense. Yeah, yeah. I it. it's it's kind of secretly fun when someone else because there were two of them, uh -huh. and you can kind of like swim and kind of see if the other person's going fast too, yeah. or if it's like okay, this is a casual swim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I would just love that. I would just train in that just for like, um, just like, ex like, you know, you'd be in the woods and sometimes you might fall into a creek and the current's coming real fast. I would use that pool to kind of train for events like that. Yeah. Because you never know when that's going to happen. It's perfect training. Yeah. And you just tie some weights to your feet and, you know, just build the most extreme situation. That's what you're really training for. Yeah. Uh, weight. I don't know. I don't know if I'd feel comfortable with weights on my feet. That's too Italian for Dude, me. It's not about <laughs> you feel comfortable. It's, it's about like, uh, what if someday, you know, someone ties weights to your feet and throws you into a creek you know? <laughs> and you're like, you don't want this to be like the first time you do it. It's so, true. You got to be prepared. Got to be prepared. Just like stand up. You do it all night. Do it repetition. So you're prepared. This, you got to be prepared. Yeah, you got to be prepared. Uh, yeah, that's something that would be very unforeseen. Unless I unless I was like in a mob. Yeah. Then then it's like, I want, do you think that the mob, mob people have like training days? Nah, dude. Nah, they just like, like for like, they just work out like like normal gym rats mm -hmm. and then if they fuck up you know they get beat and they just don't fu fuck up again you know like they don't have any um like productive meetings in a conference room like i want they have to have like a warning like they beat them up and then be like next time it's the weights yeah on your ankles <laughs> <laughs> no, they usually say next time you're going swimming with the fish yeah <laughs> <laughs> What if, uh, like, they threw you in to go swimming with the fishes, and you ended up just being, like, Poseidon or, like, Aquaman, and then the fishes helped you out? Like, that'd be great. That would be dope. I feel like there would be one fish, though, that would be, like, annoying. That would, like, probably, like, nibble on your, like, face or something. Oh, yeah. There has, there's always one annoying. I think that I think the more annoying thing would be like nipping at your nuts or your toes. <laughs> you know, like that's what this fish would be. Like. <laughs> Nibbling at your face, like you can kind of swipe him away. If face is hard. Yeah. Uh, but the, if he's just coming and swimming up from the back and nibbling at your nuts, that'd be that'd be an annoying ass fish, dog. <laughs> yeah, but it, I guess if you were controlling all the fish, yeah. just pick the bigger fish to eat that one annoying exactly. fish. Exactly. Like, hey, you eat him. <laughs> Clifford, the fish, he doesn't like this conversation that we're doing. Oh, shit. These people oh, like. hi, Clifford. <laughs> this is uh, the, what kind of fish is this? He's the, a beta fish. The beta fish. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, he looks happy. So he actually died the other day. And, what? Yo, real talk. So Clifford died after, like, when Jamie was here. Yeah. And uh, I was shaking the bowl and everything. He wasn't moving. I wasn't coming back to life. So I went and got Clifford 2.0. And he's in that bowl over there. And, uh... Oh, <laughs> wow when i went to go dump him in the toilet he woke up and i was like "Ooh, all right i said okay what said, okay what a fake out <laughs> <laughs> and i was like first of all because you did this to me and embarrassed me like this i have to give him the bowl because i already got him it's a brand new home Probably yeah you in this wine bottle and put you on the bobcast yeah and i mean what a survivor yeah he is a crazy guy um and uh i mean he dances too like sometimes i'll be dancing he'll dance with me this new guy doesn't know how to dance he's uh he's too young this new one i got he needs he needs some tiktok lessons yeah well he like started building his nest like it's a bubble nest they built on top oh really yeah yeah and he's like it's because I have too many tits around him and, like, naked guys. Like, he's a bunch of these little dudes. <laughs> and he's just, like, so horny. And I'm like, dude, just calm down. You're chilling. There's no bitches coming through. Those are plastic, he's know? too excited. Yeah, he's really excited. <laughs> he's either too excited or shy. <laughs> no, that's not shy because he made the nest. He's ready yeah, to the, go. So the nest is, is the nest is, like... If there would be eggs? Yeah, so if there was a female, uh, she would drop an egg, and then he would go swim and then put it into the nest. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've tried to attempt a beta fish birth, uh, yeah. but I fucked up because when you do this, you shouldn't have rocks at the bottom of the tank because the egg can fall into the rocks, and because uh, of the fat face, they can't get it. And, uh, then they're just frustrated. Yeah, then he's frustrated. Then he's nibbling at the girl. And then um, I had to separate them. Then I put them back in the same tank. And when he went in there, he just fucking... Uh, he just like frust got frustrated and just had a seizure and died. Uh -huh. so then I had one fish left. And I just had her... I didn't name her because... You know, I'm just a misogynistic ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, people look at this as bad right now. But if I just write a paper on it, 
it's okay. It's science. Yeah, it is science. Yeah. Yeah. The paper yeah. is coming after the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here for that. I want a dissertation <laughs> on some tail eating. Oh, man. I like eating tail. Yeah. How much tail? <laughs> I just I just pronounce it differently. Tail? Yeah, rimming. <laughs> rimming, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, that was yeah, you got me there. Rimming is much yep. yep. I'm here for it. Yeah, no, same. <laughs> uh you know, I've never even actually had a like I never even ate out a girl's butthole. No? You know, because to me it's always like I would don't want anyone to eat out my butthole because my butthole's so gross and i just that's like, a quick fix though i know but like i already i'm traumatized by what has happened to my body and just what i know comes out of my butthole and i don't i just for me butthole play is not it you know i've tried anal a couple times with chicks yeah and um even that i just was like i just this was like too much for me even like butt stuff you know i just was like well, that's the, okay. So I'm not the kind of gay that's like, "Are you sure?" Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to convince anybody. <laughs> no, no, like, no, no, yeah, I, I didn't take that at all. No, no, no. I just like to preface that because okay. I think it's important to know what you like, and yeah, if you don't like it, you don't like it. Um, no, and trauma is trauma, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've had such bad diarrhea, and I just like, I just like, I don't, I can't put like the love of my life next to that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like the worst diarrhea and the love of your life and then if there was like an equation it's just wait a couple of days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Now do you, do you like getting um your butthole eaten too? Um I used to not like it. Mm. And it only takes one person to do it right. <laughs> and and then it's like, oh, okay, not so bad. And then it's like, okay, what I thought was not good, um, that person just wasn't good at it. Yeah, so and that's fine, too. What, what do they have to do to make it better? Because I know the man's G-spot is in the butthole. Yeah, up somewhere up there. Well, is that I, a false? No, I mean, I mean it's there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's definitely, for me, confidence. Like, someone going in who's, like, unsure of what they're doing. I mean, this could be any any sexual activity yeah confidence yeah. in doing it is for sure gonna oh, make yeah. a difference Big, yeah, yeah. yeah but like okay so what i'm basically asking is like what is a good technique so when you're eating pussy yeah of course you want to hit the clit with your nose a little bit you know and just do all sorts of work with your tongue you know basically well, do the alphabet whatever there's <laughs> like so many different forms of stimulation you can like of course tongue lips but those to me are kind of like mutually beneficial because if you're if you like doing it yeah. and you're getting the sensation it's like a baby like when they're like putting things in their mouth like there's so many nerve endings and yeah, you so like you're getting something out of it too but a little bit of like you could blow like oh. soft air like there's so many things you can do Interesting. Uh, yeah soft air I never would have thought about that yeah that's yeah. an element uh yeah, people do, which is, like, don't add food to the mix down there. Oh, no, no, no. That's, no, uh, for me, that's yeah. a no. But food? Yeah, no thanks. Food? Some people like to have food in everything that they do sexually, and it's I know, just like, like yeah, a, I've heard about, like, like whip, you're talking about, like, just, like, whipped cream, something like yeah, that? Yeah. Okay, like, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't, if we already have to clean up. Yeah, I feel uh, like, I don't want to add food <laughs> no, to the mix. No, no. Can can you imagine having to explain to your landlord like how food is like stuck down your shower drain like I, food like I, I wouldn't want that yeah. I wouldn't want to have that conversation I actually never had thought about that like that yeah. I already have to explain hair mm. like <laughs> wow yeah, you know, I did see this one video on TikTok that was like, oh, guys, if you want chicks to blow you more, you ever think about using flavored lube? And I don't think that's the problem. Yeah. I don't think that's why women don't like it. Yeah. Well, if they don't like would, it. Does, would that sound more enticing to you? Because I would think like, you know, I like I don't think my girlfriend would even want to suck my dick with like this extra whatever this is, you know, like, right. Like this chemical. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's a ploy. I think it's just a ploy for you uh, to get us to spend money. And I say that maybe people like it, but yeah. for myself, no thanks. Yeah, I don't like. There's a lot of younger any... generation on TikTok giving dating and sex advice. 
and it's like going viral. And sometimes I'm, I question my own. You know, my game has been pretty good up to this point. You know, I have a very successful girlfriend. Like our relationship is strong. You know, so but I was like, ah, am I doing it wrong after all these years? But I think they're wrong, Thomas. What do you? I think, think you're right. I think that they're wrong. <laughs> they're fucking wrong. Uh, you fucking children, <laughs> you're imagine, wrong. Imagine this: this girl's a whore, right? And she's saying, "All right, I'll suck all the dick as long as you put lube on it, right? Flavored lube." Now she's consuming all this flavored lube in a week. Now, <laughs> is that like she's gonna be having like diarrhea because her insides are fucking, you know, gelled up? Yeah. I mean, there has to be some side effects there. Uh, there, I even have. Okay, so I, I, uh, my friend with benefits mm-hmm. uh, was over recently, and there we were discussing the kind of lube that I prefer, just in fucking, just, mm. just normally, and. And they were concerned. They were like, are you sure you want to use silicone? Like, that's some people. And I was like, I was like, yo, we've been fucking for years. Mm -hmm. I was like, and we've never had this conversation, first off. Like, now you're concerned if I want silicone or not? I was like, we've been using silicone this whole time. Mm. Um, But Why did that come up so much later? I don't know. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe he read a... uh, an article or an something? article about <laughs> silicone lube yeah. or maybe he maybe he watched a tiktok with one of these young, young kids, kids oh, yeah. giving advice i'm like don't listen to these stupid yeah. kids yeah, i mean i always <laughs> went water based but since you're the guy that's uh, taking it and you already know what lube you you work with why is it a matter to him you know yeah yeah it's like <laughs> I, but i also like i have both because certain toys you have to have water base Other, otherwise you're going to ruin the toy interesting yeah now, as an industrial engineer you know the show how it's made um, Ooh, that yeah. was on like you know, on discovery channel so that's basically what i do now how it's made nice I'm getting to end. and it's i found it very curious that some toys you can use water base some use silicone because this means like the material finish um, has some type of problem with silicone, right? Yeah. So, like, can you explain to me, like, w- what toy and why it is, or kind of like that? Like, yeah. Like, so, grimy, just yeah. So, I have a vibrator mm-hmm. that's a remote vibrator, sure. meaning I can give somebody access mm-hmm. in China to vibrate my oh, whole. I love those. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can be anywhere on the planet, <laughs> and, and you can. <laughs> that sounds so much fun. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, that's right, and I and I can. You can interact with them on your phone. So so I can text a stranger uh, yes or no uh-huh. or send them a photo or like you can interact. I can send voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. voice. Uh, you can interact with the person who you're giving permission mm. to um, so stimulate you. Guys all you. basically yeah. have your own vibrators. And then through this app, you guys can control each other's. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, what it's is cool. This called? It's Lovence, Love Love Sense or something oh, like that. Look, yeah, I yeah. I want to look up this vibrator because yeah. that is like um, I always found like uh, like even in porn like when someone controls someone else's like you know we at a restaurant it's like it's like funny <laughs> but also really funny you know. Like, yes. <laughs> yes. But like uh, I like I just like l- love the sound of this technology. Uh, because you can do it anywhere over the world because it's through an app and that's so 21st century. Yeah, <laughs> it's very cool. Yeah. Love Sense, you said? Mm-hmm. Even the name, Sense. Oh, that's so good. This is the power we have on the Bobcast. I'm still trying to figure out this fucking TV thing. But it might. Be, so it might be, lo- it's all one word. So Love Ence or Love Sense or... See, um, this is not it, right? Uh, this is the Lush thing. This is... Uh, I see a lot of bitches using this. Well, that I mean, I gotta be honest. I love pink. Mine's black. Yeah. Well, is um, this the device though. It looks, yeah, it does look like uh, the third, the third link, the one that says "try it." <laughs> um, because that looks like a book, Love Sense, yeah. and then yeah, it's an audible book, and then <laughs> which is also really great. <laughs> It's all right. No, but I get it. That That's like, oh, uh, and that's like so wild. Like you can just, it, now how does that app work? Is it like Tinder almost? Like you swipe on the app or how does that work? So, <laughs> no, so you, you go on the app and it's, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi, of uh-huh. course. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, could you imagine being in Starbucks? <laughs> like, I need your password. <laughs> Dude, this is uh, something great. Do you have a bit about this? No, but... Uh, 
This is wild, dude. This, th- because straight people will do this too, you know? This, this can connect both sides. This is, I think, fat, but great. My ex, so my ex and I were long distance, mm-hmm. and uh, there was one time they messaged me. They were like, I miss you, and I uh, was like feeling mm-hmm. a little disconnected, and they were on the train going. Uh, I'm trying to remember where they were going. It doesn't really matter, but they were on the train, and they were like, are you home? And I was like, yeah. They were like, put it in. <laughs> I was like, what? And they're like, the vibe. I was like, oh, oh, you want to go? Oh, you want to go? It was cool. I was like, oh, you're feeling horny and you're on the train and I'm at home. It was cool. I was like, we had like a sexual moment. Yeah. It's like kind of like phone sex, but evolved. It is. Yeah. Like it is. Extreme. It, it is. Yeah. Now, okay. So you're talking yours is a vibrator, but do they make one that can jerk you off too? So it kind of like can play both sides of the game. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe they should. I mean, they might have. Like, I've seen a lot of now equipment that's like automated blowjob things really yeah like just like just like you know like the flashlight but just basically inside a flashlight it's like something that oh that's moving yeah yeah so i'm like dude everything's becoming so evolved i gotta be honest that's a little scary i don't know if i would want to put my dick inside a machine that is but it feels just like so like it's it's not like when you say machine yeah it's a machine technically because it's technology but it's just you. You're once your dick's in and you feel probably what it does. You're like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, you know how like iPads mm-hmm. used to catch fire or like, or they can randomly catch fire and people will fall asleep uh, with their iPad and then it like catches their bed on fire. Yeah. I would hate to be the first person who like has this thing on my dick yeah. and it explodes. Nah, dude, by the time it gets to you, it's already well tested. That's, I mean, <laughs> it's well tested. what are they tested on? Uh, like, what do you, th- what do you think the first thing like exploded on a banana? No, no, they're getting just like these guys that are just so horny and just have no game, but just jerk off all like and just need it. You know, their, their hands are cramping. They got like, what is it? Calluses and carpal tunnel, not from working, <laughs> just from jerking off, you know, like, not because they hit the gym. Well, they do hit some type of gym. I One d- <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> I do love the... Okay, so like we talk about like the origin of the joke or like the origin of the device. The origin of this yeah. sex toy would be... it's it, it has a very great purpose for that person uh-huh. with carpal tunnel <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or well, you know, like that, Stephen that, Hawking. That di- yeah, that disease. Like, Is that what carpal tunnel is? Like, You know, like some people have that disease where they're like their hand goes like this and so they made like spoons, right? That kind of are like... A gimbal and like the spoons. Oh steady, yeah, but their like their arm is never. Happy. Yeah, I don't know if uh, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, but, um, but it's kind of like that for them. Yeah, because I can't imagine like you had wanted to jerk off, but your arm has a mind that's of, of its own, right? Right. And then if you're not hung like a big black guy, you it's, sometimes precision works. So I was like, you can't be out here. You need to be down here. Yeah. So yeah, dude. That's wild. I want you to know the whole Bobcast is like a rabbit hole, so we tend to get just we go down and down. No, I love it. That's cool. <laughs> so why can't you use silicone on this vibrator? That's what it comes back yes. to. Yes. So I don't know exactly why, but it was on the instructions. So I was like, okay, well, uh, that's not. That's just it's not an extra expense, really. So you use water based like, lube? Yeah. Whenever, whenever I use that. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Otherwise, I prefer silicone yeah. personally. Because I know why. Because it just has a longer rate of just staying there right and it just feels better longer for it's silicone yeah water yeah based, like runs out yeah well the last time i used water based with an actual dick i had like the worst experience so i have a joke about prolapse mm. and that's when your bow hole falls out of your that your your large intestine falls out of your butthole i would say not fall out i would i would use the word pulled out Ooh. Like, Whoa. like that was the level of pressure. Like there was suction that was like, so what actually happened? I don't, so I have the joke, but um, the story yeah, is I've heard the joke. Yeah, so the guy was inside me, of course, mm-hmm. and uh, had like a panic attack while we were fucking, yeah. and I was like, "Are you okay?" And he, like removed himself from me so quickly that the suction of his dick leaving my asshole pulled my inside out of me. Interesting. And how painful is that? 
I punched him. Yeah. I punched him instinctively because you probably, hurt. Like, yeah, very uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, you, yeah, I can't even imagine what that, like, so, uh, like, I, I'm i just, I can't even relate it to a ship because that's, like, uh, that's meant to come out. This is, like, he's, like, plunging you. Almost, yes. Like a plunger. I, I, the next morning, so oh, he man. did sleep over. Uh, this is someone I was trying to date, but, uh. Which maybe that was the panic attack. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I applied pressure, and then he applied pressure. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but I I remember being on the floor because I could barely walk. Mm. Uh, it was painful. I was in my bathroom on the floor, and uh, in that moment, very close to God, <laughs> like praying, like, well, I. Is this a sign that I'm not meant yeah. to be gay anymore? Yeah. Like, am I? Do I have to was go that away? the last <laughs> dick? <laughs> like, like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, life is just questioning you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if I could do that How ever long again. Did it take you to recover from this? Oh, a couple weeks. I, um, it was a lot of witch hazel uh, pads. Mean? So they they have these for like hemorrhoids and stuff. Mm-hmm. They have like the. Uh, uh, these pads with witch hazel and it uh, co- it's like very cooling mm. just like hemorrhoid cream and stuff like that sure. um, which that's how I was treating myself uh, just to like to ease the comfort the level yeah because like I still had to work like yeah. uh, oh my god you're a soldier yeah could you imagine being like uh, I need to take FMLA for prolapse yeah. like oh my God, like to get that approved. Dude, dude's a fucking dickhead. Yeah. Dude, like so that's that's dangerous. Like And that's not even why we I ended I, that's not why I stopped seeing this kid. Yeah, well, that's beyond me there, because yeah. someone ripped my ass like that. Dude, <laughs> I, yo, one punch would not be enough. Because, <laughs> right. Like, okay, so in this two, three weeks you're recovering, like, what is pooping like? That's what I'm concerned about. Because I like even before this podcast, I had to poop. You know that I mean like I'm just Poop, like, especially on this bender, dude. I don't know. My ass and my fucking brain don't know how to communicate anymore. So, how is that? Like, yeah. Shame, like, fucking. That's, you, so you know how it's like when the phrase, like, it's just like breathing. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's like you don't have to think about it. Yeah. It's very subconscious. Like, your brain and your body react as they need to. Mm-hmm. So, I just, like, I remember, it's, I haven't, that's funny you ask. Yeah. So, shitting was just like, strings like it was your my my intestines knew that it needed to create yeah the smallest diameter turd kind of thing yeah though. you it's like the thinnest yeah, yeah like if miss frizzle had gone inside <laughs> my body <laughs> like she would she would definitely be able to be like oh wow like if they if they took the path every player involved knew that everything everything had to be sh- changed yeah yeah. Isn't that why the human body is so beautiful? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like even that I talked about earlier, we were talking about like uh, just drinking and your body recovering. You know, fucking, you got like everything got tugged a little, and it yeah. just was like, all right, guys, hold the fuck up. <laughs> and then actually, hindsight, maybe, maybe that is why. Maybe this situation is why I appreciate uh, getting my ass eaten. <laughs>